So, news came out today that the Asus Zenfone 2 is going to be launching in India shortly. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything you need to know about this new phone. So earlier this month, Asus released a video onto their YouTube channel going over all of the new features in Zen UI for Lollipop. Now, I'm not personally a fan of alternate UIs, but there are a few things that Zen UI brings that are quite interesting, such as the ability to switch into one-handed mode by double-tapping the home button. This is a feature that I think is lacking on the tablets of today. Specifications too are fairly beastly. Asus boasts this is the very first smartphone to feature 4GB of RAM and a quad-core Intel Atom processor at 2.3GHz. The phone screen is 5.5 inches, running at 1080x1920, which isn't quite as good as the Nexus 6, which I did in my last video. But this lower resolution should mean that that 3000 mAh battery lasts a hell of a lot longer than the Nexus 6 battery does. Which is a huge boon when coupled with the fact that this supports turbocharging. Everything needs to support turbocharging! This is a good thing! The camera unfortunately can only record at 1080p at 30fps. Which is a bit of a letdown, seeing as that sort of unique selling point here is that they're trying to push standards with 4GB of RAM, the quad core Intel Atom processor, but it shouldn't matter too much. Now, 1080p is obviously still really good, but the standard is 4K now. The front camera is 5 megapixels, which isn't great, but for a front camera that's sort of average, that's alright. So, to conclude, this phone looks interesting, but I sort of doubt that it's going to be the game changer that Asus believes it will be. 4GB of RAM is awesome, you know, it's always good to be pushing things like this to a certain extent, if I explain, the Nexus 6 I found rarely uses that extra gigabyte of RAM. Better specs mean that we have more potential for developing apps, etc. So that's absolutely fine. The problem is where they've pushed for RAM, they've fallen behind in terms of camera and display, which is probably a bit more important than RAM. If you think the original iPhones had 128 megs of RAM and they ran absolutely fine. I think it will depend on reception once this phone is actually launched. I think it has the potential to be a nice handset, but like I said, it's not a game changer. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, comment, like if you enjoyed this so I can do more of these. Cool. I've just realised I've had that I just realized I had the GSM ring in a page up this whole time. This is where I'm getting my information from, I'm just regurgitating it.